All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up conversion tracking for a basic land pa landing page on Unbound. Uh, this is going to walk you through essentially how to set up the little snippet that you got to insert in the actual header uh, for the appointment page. And then you have to enter a secondary snippet as well on the thank you page. That's to ensure that the actual conversion is actually triggered and then sent to Google Ads. So let's get to it. First thing you want to do is you want to come up here to uh, tools and settings. You want to go to conversions. You want to hit new conversion action. Uh, you want to hit new website. We're going to do it for convert. Um, we're going to do it for tracking website like appointment leads or form submissions. We're not going to do a uh, phone setup. Uh, we generally do that through CallRail, and that's a different setup, which I might do an actual video of. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to do uh, leads submitted through a website. So the first thing you got to do is you got to hit your goal. This really doesn't matter. It's just um, whatever is most relevant to you. So we'll just hit uh, submit lead form or book. Yeah, we'll, we'll put book an appointment. Um, that way you can track. You could put like uh, for furnace repair just to say what page it's from or whatever service you're offering on that specific landing page. Uh, you can label it that just so it's more um, categorized and you can easily read it. Uh, when you're sifting through conversions. Um, the next thing is value. So essentially, if you actually have a value for every single lead, so say one out of 10 leads converts and that conversion uh, creates you know, $10,000 of new wealth. So every lead you get is worth $1,000. You could then assign that to this and you could put $1,000, but for most people, they honestly don't know the actual value per conversion. Uh, so generally we just put don't use a value because no one really knows what a conversion's worth um, in in most scenarios. Uh, unfortunately you should, but for most campaigns they don't. So I would say just don't use a value for right now. If you do have a value, put it up there. Um, so uh, it, it's really up to you for that. Uh, counting. This is essentially, do you want to count a conversion every time someone submits it, even if they're the same person? Um, if you're doing an e-commerce store, you want to count every conversion, regardless of if it's the same person or not. But if you have someone who's the same person submitting a uh, book an appointment or get a quote, uh, it doesn't make sense to actually uh, keep counting those conversions because it's the same person. Uh, so we generally select just one, especially for service-based businesses. If it is e-commerce, uh, leave it to every because then it, then it doesn't matter. Uh, click through conversion window. This essentially allows you to, if say someone has already clicked it, like I just said, um, going past 30 days then allows them to submit a new conversion. Generally, that same person isn't going to click on the ad 30 days later than submit another uh, conversion. I think that's a pretty good window. If that's an issue, you can always up it to, you know, 60, 90 or whatever uh, you feel like you can even make it custom if you want. Uh, and that just allows them to actually see the actual, uh, or get rid of uh, repeat customers, I should say, uh, or repeat submissions, form submissions. Attribution, last click. This isn't really applicable in this. Um, we just leave it on last click. This is essentially, if you're building out an attribution model, how to send Google data, really not relevant in this scenario. Uh, if you were doing an e-commerce store, it would be more applicable, but it's very detailed and technical. I'll just skip it. Um, we'll hit next. And now here's the fun part. So essentially, if you actually have a webmaster, you can just send them the tag. They can do this themselves, and you're pretty much good from there. Um, we're going to install the tag from the actual website code. You can also use Google Tag Manager. Um, for people unfamiliar with this, it is... I would say easier to use in the long run, but um, if you're not familiar with it and you're only doing um, one landing page or just a handful of landing pages for yourself, definitely do the tag. It's much, much easier. Um, or sorry, install the tag yourself. Uh, it's much, much easier. Um, we're going to see the code as HTML. That's just uh, how we're going to insert it. So keep it like that. Or that, That's the format we're going to use to insert the code. Um, global site tag. Uh, this is just giving you options as if you if you already have the tag installed on landing pages or anything like that, it just gives you other options to differentiate if you had multiple tags on the same landing page. Right now, we're just coming from a um, 
a clean slate. So we're just going to say the global site tag is not installed on anything. So that's good. Uh, we're going to copy this. And then we're going to go over to our unbounce page or unbounce, uh, unbounce website. And then we're going to go to the appointment page. We're going to go to edit. We're going to hit JavaScript. We're going to hit new script. I like to name this just Google global site tag, just so you know what it is and you don't delete it. Global site tag, you paste what we already had. So you just paste all this into here and then you change the placement to the header. Uh, that just makes sure that every time this is one of the first things to load. Um, so Google actually gets this data. So then we hit done. And if you have multiple landing pages and they're all using, and they're all meant for the same conversion action, you have to install this on all the landing pages. It's not just, you can install it on one and you're done. You have to install it on every single landing page. That way Google gets the information from every single one. Uh, very, very important. Don't just, sorry, save. Um, save and then republish this page so it's active. So yeah, make sure it's on every single landing page you have. So if you have multiple appointment landing pages, make sure it's on all of them, not just one. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're also going to install it on the thank you page. And you might be wondering why you're installing it on the <laughs> thank you page. It's, you know, isn't there another code? It's like you need both codes. So we're going to install this again. We'll name this uh, Google Global site tag just so we know what it is good and then since this is the actual thank you page don't judge me for the <laughs> very basic thank you page if you have a thank you page please make it look nicer than this um, and then we're going to go down to this uh, and since this is the thank you, thank you page and we have our global site tag installed on all of our landing pages we're then going to move to the next step this is the actual event snippet so this is uh, essentially the trigger action. So when someone hits book the appointment, they're then sent to the thank you page. This triggers triggers an event snippet to fire. That fire uh, that uh, event snippet that fires then sends the information to Google saying that a person did indeed submit a appointment lead and count that as a conversion. When we're choosing this, generally put it on page load. Uh, there are some instances where you could put it on click, but it's not always that accurate, I find. Um, page load is pretty much 100% accurate. It's it's very, very good. We're gonna copy this. And essentially the difference between page load and click is if you click on an actual uh, item, it will then fire the trigger. Whereas page load, it fires the trigger or the event snippet when uh, the page initially loads. So as soon as this person is taken to this thank you page and redirected from the initial appointment page, that event snippet fires and sends the information to Google. So then you're going to take the the new, sorry, did I put that? No, oh, oops, put that as header. <laughs> Don't make the mistake I did. Put that in the head. It has to be there. Otherwise, it won't work. We'll put the uh, Google event snippet here. You also can put that in the head. Very important to have that here. And make sure it's below the site tag. Um, that just ensures that it fires properly. Good. We're going to hit save, republish. All our things are successfully republished. It should be. Good. All this is working. And then we're going to hit next. So Right now, we've successfully set up our conversion tracking. Good job. You can always uh, troubleshoot it just to actually force it to load in action. And then it will say verified. Uh, if you want to do that, you can. Uh, that's just why it says unverified right now, because none of no traffic has actually been through it. Otherwise, it would say uh, the conversion action is working. But if you've done all that, your thank you page is set up, the appointment page is set up. And make sure, again, if you have multiple appointment pages or multiple uh, landing pages, you have to put the global tick, uh, global site uh, code on all of them, not just the one. Other than that, you're successfully set up for your conversion tracking for your landing page. Good job. Um,
if you like this type of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe. We release videos every single week. Uh, Till next time, have fun, have a great day.